Hi there! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Almost a year ago, I did my 2023 handbag collection, and now I want to do a middle of 2024 handbag collection video. I would like to make it a little bit different than just showing you what I have in my collection. I will also include the price that I paid for it and what's the price for it now to buy new and also if it's a vintage bag what's the price for current pre-love market for that particular bag and I will also talk about what I'm willing to purchase it or not for the current market. So this will be a long video. Get a drink and then let's start it right away. So the first one I'm going to talk about is my Lady Dior. Currently is small, I believe, but I checked the receipt. It says micro Lady Dior. So at the time, it must be the the tiniest bag. I paid three thousand five hundred Australian dollars, and to buy a new now in this size, it is. 8,100 Australian dollars for more than 8,000 to get a lambskin handbag with gold hardware in this tiny size I wouldn't purchase it at the current price and next one is my vintage Chanel bag this beautiful Diana bag Diana flap in a small size. The Diana bag I paid three thousand one hundred and eighty-eight Australian dollars. So I checked because because it is a vintage bag, you cannot find this style in the boutique anymore. But there are quite a lot on the pre-loved market. So I checked Farfetch. They have several. Um, available at the moment. Mine, the condition is pretty good. The only thing I'll say is the gold on this buckle has been weared off, so the show, silver is showing. But other than that, it is quite okay. The far fetch side is in US dollars, so. As you can see, for different condition, the price varies a lot. I'll guess for this condition, uh, on the pre love market, it could be around thirteen to fifteen thousand Australian dollars. Next one is my very first designer handbag. I purchased this pre loved. It is my Speedy Thirty from LV. When I purchase it, I already have wear and tear. Can you see there's several spots already got worn off? But other than that, the conditions are pretty good for 605 Australian dollars. Can you believe it? Around 600. And now, if I buy new, the in the speedy style which is not the bandolier with the strap it is about 2600 australian dollars for the price what i buy now mm, it's a maybe because it is very classic and it's very durable and the size is very generous for 2600 australian dollars the price is really not too expensive compared with Chanel or, or Hermes. So I might purchase it for the current price. Next, let's talk about my Fendi 2 Jewel. I really love this style. I got this bag pre-loved. I remember at the time when I purchased it, for the full price is around three thousand Australian dollars, but I paid for one and a half thousand. This style has been discontinued for many many years. However, there are 
quite a lot of them on the second-hand market. Most of them are listed around one and a half thousand Australian dollars. But I checked the ones that actually got sold. They sold at a price about nine hundred or a little bit over thousand Australian dollars. If I think about it, I did lost money on this bag, but I've been using it, using it a lot. For the price nowadays, would I buy, buy it? Um, it's a no because this style has been discontinued. And as you can see, after more than 10 years of using it, the bag is kind of wonky now. I tried so many ways to fix it. It just wouldn't back to its shape anymore. And next. This is my Elma PM in Epi Leather from LV. I paid 2,620 Australian dollars for this one. Right now, you couldn't get PM size in Epi Leather anymore. So if you get it brand new in canvas leather, it's 3,150 Australian dollars. But if you're looking for the Epi Letter, you can find it on Prayer Loved Market about about the same price that I pay for, so 2600 So if I sell it, I won't lose any money, but technically money in the past was more, isn't it? But I did enjoy this bag quite a lot for a long time, so it's kind of hold its value. Would I purchase this bag for the current price? Yes, I would like to because it's classic and less than three thousand dollars. For for me, like decade ago, any handbags over two thousand dollars are kind of like, whoa, that is a red light. It's so expensive, but now it's crazy, and the price for luxury handbags has been shoot up so much. Here we have the puffer bag from YSL. I purchased this one four years ago. I paid three thousand Australian dollars for it. Now on the official website, it is four thousand four hundred and twenty Australian dollars. For the price now, would I purchase it? It's a uh, no. Firstly, more than four thousand dollars for. A YSL bag. I just don't think YSL is up there yet as Chanel and Dior or even Hermes and other premium brands. Um, I would like to pay anything around 2 or 3k for it. It is a bit too pricey. And I have to mention recently YSL has been declined their price I think it is an interesting strategy because less people are purchasing handbags now. If you don't charge more per bag, then you need to lower the price, right? So I think they are starting this trend to get their customer back in this very struggle time for everyone. And I would like to see if there are more brands follow them, such as such as Celine or Loi Wei because I love their handbags but their price has been raised up so much. If they lower their price, I will actually consider get handbags from Celine and Loi Wei. And now we have this Garden Party 36 from Hermes. I purchased this one pre-loved in Japan several years ago. So it's around 1,600 Australian dollars. I thought it was a bargain. And I just love the color combination. It is canvas with black, navy canvas with black leather. I don't know what's the current price for the Garden Party 36. 
but on the pre-love market, it's around three thousand or even four thousand Australian dollars. Would I purchase this for the current price, for brand new or pre-loved? Probably not, because for that price, I could get handbags brand new from LV, Dior, or even Chanel. Next is one of my favorite handbags from Monat. This is their classic style region. They also have a micro, which is big, super, super cute, tiny ones. And they have larger ones, but that one is very heavy. So what I paid for this beauty is 7,600 Australian dollars. I love their brand. I would like to purchase more from them. But unfortunately, the boutique on Collins Street in Melbourne has closed many, many years ago. So next time when I go to Japan, I'm definitely going to their boutique and see if any color I like. I would like to purchase another classic design from them. So I noticed at the beginning of this year, their website uh, took down their prices. So you can only check the style and price in boutique physically. So I remembered at the end of last year to buy this one brand new is around 8,600. Would I purchase it for the current price? Yes, I would because that's for my personal favorite brand. And it is the best quality in my whole handbag collection. They are the one. They are the ones can compete with Hermes. Let's have a look of handbags in color. My husband got this Felice Pichette as a Christmas gift for me one year. I believe at the time it's 1,800 Australian dollars. To purchase new now is 2,440 Australian dollars, which is not too bad. And on the pre-love market, it's around one and a half or even one thousand six hundred Australian dollars. For the price, would I purchase this one? Mm, yes, I would because it is so versatile. It gives you one card holder and a zipper pochette. And it came with the chain. I really love the one. I really like. I really like the pop of red. I really love the pop of red color. To wear a crossbody is so carefree, and you can hold this as a clutch. Next is a fun bag. I got this in Japan. It is the heart shape handbag from Alaya. Another brand I really, really love. I never purchased any dress from them, but I did own a really classic thick belt from them. It is amazing. I love the laser cut and I love every ready to wear from this brand. So for this one, I paid 1,300 Australian dollars. And currently on the website, it's 1,660 Australian dollars. This one again for the current price. Yes, of course, because I got this last year and I've been using it quite a lot. And I'm happy about the quality and the style. I wouldn't mention those foldable Longchamp bags, but I will show you this backpack from Longchamp. I purchased this last year for 1,005 Australian dollars, and now you can get it 1,045 Australian dollars. For 1,000 dollars, get a full leather backpack in this size. I think it's a bargain now. So, would I purchase this again? Yes, I will purchase this for the current 
market price. And last, we got my newest handbag from Dior, which is these two jewels in the light beige color. I got this in a medium size. It is the same price on the website right now. If you really like this bag, I think 6000 it is expensive. Would I purchase this one for the current price? Of course, because I just did not long ago. Do I think it is a bag that worth 6000 Australian dollars? Of course not. What kind of leather it costs 6000 But for the style, for my love for Dior and how much I wanted this one, I did pull the trigger to purchase this one. I do feel hard to come to a conclusion for which bag would I pay how much money for that. They are just handbags and they can't be more than that. Of course they from different brands with hundreds of years of history but they meant to put your daily stuff in them. And at the end of the day they will get scratched up and you might get bored of them. So that's the fact. So when I look at the bags and think about how much money I paid for them, I can't just think about this is how much I pay for and what I get it back for now. Because during the time, for many years I've been using them, there's lots of happiness and happy moment when I use these handbags. I am pretty happy about my collection right now. They are more balanced than last year. If you're into luxury, fashion, jewelry, please subscribe. I make videos every week. Do you have any handbags? Do you have any handbags in your collection that the current price has jumped up so much? Please leave your comment and share your thoughts on them. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.